The Fremantle Dockers produced one of their best wins of the season, beating the Cats in Geelong on Saturday. Justin Longmuir joins me now. Justin, welcome. It was the perfect way to get back in form. Yeah, well, it was obviously our most consistent game probably since the buyer. Um, and like all our better performances um, this year, it's been really even contribution amongst all our players. Um, you know, every player chipped in at their, and had their moments. So, yeah, really pleasing to go down there and beat Geelong again. Hayden Young went to Patrick Dangerfield and did a great job. Can you talk us through how that one came about? Uh, Joel Corey, midfield coach, you know, he's been campaigning for a while to get Youngy on ball and um, we probably thought, yeah, perfect role um, you know, with the Geelong, Geelong skipper. He spends his time between the midfield and forward line, so Youngy's able to go, yeah, obviously, midfield and back on him and James H played a pretty important role in those flips. So, yeah, after you decide he's going to play there, it's just about making sure he's prepared really well for um, all the different things Danger can do, and, and, and we all know Danger's strength. So, Young, he's a pro, um, did his homework, and yeah, I thought he executed the, the plan and the role really well. Yeah, and one of, was one of our better performers on the weekend. Do you look at it possibly this week with someone like Lockie Neal, maybe? Could you send Hayden Young to him, or is it a different type of player? Oh, yeah, Lockie's definitely a different type of player to Danger. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll look at um, something against Lockie. Like last time we played him, uh, I think he had 13 clearances and was pretty uh, easily best on ground, so we can't let him run around doing what he likes. So, um, yeah, we'll look at all different scenarios, whether it's um, Aishi, who's done it earlier in the year, um, or Youngy, who did it on the weekend. We'll look at something reasonably similar, I would imagine. Your captain, Alex Pearce, responded strongly after some recent outside criticism. Oh, absolutely. He, yeah, he was, yeah, if not our best player, right up there on the weekend. Did a super job defensively on um, Tom, Tom Hawkins, kept him to two goals. But it was, yeah, he, he uh, you know, intercepted 15 balls and I uh, thought he gave some really good drive and you know, his leadership was as strong as it, it always is. So, uh, yeah, he led from the front and it's terrific to see. Will we see Brennan Cox back against Brisbane this week? Yeah, he's tracking really well. Bounced really quickly from that ankle injury, so yeah, well, we've got our fingers crossed that he'll get through training tomorrow and Friday and put his hand up for selection. Uh, pivoting to off-field uh, issues for a moment, Justin, there are calls for the club to part ways with Woodside as a sponsor. Where do you sit on that situation? Oh, yeah, it's not my decision. Um, I'm really appreciative of the support Woodside's given our football club for a long period of time. and. I'm sure the board and the exec um, and, and Gala will make the right decision um, on where that sits for our future. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it in their hands. Fair enough. You focus on the footy, the Lions, Sunday at Optus Stadium. Justin, good luck. Thanks, Ryan.